So artists are pissed. And I'm going to tell you what. You see, this artwork, this one. was completely generated by an AI. And okay, so up to there, okay, why not? But what is crazy is that this piece won an art contest and the real artists are pissed because they're like, wait a minute, how can something generated by a computer win an art contest? So this is in the Utah. An AI generated picture won an art prize. Artists aren't happy. And the creator says, I won and I didn't break any rules. So this year in the Colorado State Fair annual art competition gave out prizes as in all the usual categories, painting, quilting, sculpture. But one entrant, Jason M. Allen of Pat, Pueblo West, Colorado, didn't make his entry with a brush or lump of clay. He created it with Mid Journey, an artificial intelligence program that turns lines of text into hyper-realistic graphics. Mr. Allen work, uh, Théâtre d'Opéra Spatial, uh, took home the blue ribbon in the fair contest of emerging digital artists, making it one of the first AI-generated pieces to win such a prize and setting off a fierce backlash from artists who accused him of essentially cheating. Reached by Fonus Demis and Allen defended his work. He said that he had made clear that his work, which was submitted under the name Jason M. Allen via Mid Journey, was created using AI and that he, did, he hadn't received anyone, deceived anyone about its origins. I'm not going to apologize for it. I won and I didn't break any rules. AI generated art has been around for years, but tools released this year with names like DALI uh, 2, Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion have made it possible for rank amateurs to create complex abstract or photorealistic work simply by typing a few words into a text box. These apps have made many human artists understandably nervous about their own futures. Why would anyone pay for art, they wonder, when they could generate it themselves. They have also generated fierce debate about the ethics, ethics of AR generated art and oppos opposition from people who claim that these apps are essentially a high-tech form of plagiarism. Mr. Allen, uh, 39, began experimenting with AR generated art this year. He runs a studio uh, internet game which, ma which makes tabletop games. He was curious uh, how the new breed of AI image generator would compare to the human artists whose work he commissioned. This summer, he got invited to a Discord chat server where people were testing Mid Journey, which used a complex process known as diffusion to turn text into custom images. Users type a series of words in a message to Mid Journey, and the bot spits back an image seconds later. Blah, 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 blah. I couldn't believe what I was seeing, etc., etc., etc. Some artists defended Mr. Allen saying that using AI to create a piece was no different from using Photoshop or other, other digital image manipulation tools and that human creativity is still required to come up with the right prompts to generate an award-winning piece. Ola Olga Robach, a spokeswoman for the Colorado Department of Agriculture, which oversees the state fair, said Mr. Allen had adequately disclosed Mid Journey involvement when submitting his piece. The categories rule allow any artistic practice that uses digital technology as part of the creative or presentation process. The two category judges did not know that Mid Journey was an AI program, she said, but both subsequently told her that they would have awarded Mr. Allen the top price even if they had known. Etc. 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 That's the piece. All generated by AI. I don't know if you ever used Mid Journey, but listen, this. I mean, if you paint and you can have anybody create art by just typing words, 
it is true that as a painter i mean what do you think about that as a painter it's true that you might feel oh my god discouraged but it's the same thing as photographers when it, the photos you can do with an iphone uh, uh, or a, a galaxy phone or whatever smartphone today they, they they rival what you can do what you had to pay ten thousand of equipment to do 10 years ago and did it destroy the jobs of photographers no it didn't it transformed it of course because anybody can go and take a picture of a mountain and have no clue about exposure and 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 all that stuff and still make a beautiful image because the phone will do the heavy lifting and the work of understanding it's a mountain and, and, and doing everything for you and then back in the days you would take those photos and you would put them on, on national geographic and photographic magazines and today they go on instagram on vero on facebook on Flickr and other photo specialized sites and it's just times times are just moving fast and Computer chips are so powerful that art itself, uh, yeah, becomes easy to do. And listen, let me show you. Let me see, let me see, let me see, wait. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Here what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. First of all, I want your opinion. Don't stay, don't stay silent in the chat. Tell me what you think about this whole situation. Should that person have been awarded the price for uh, an AI generated art? Do you believe it's unfair for the people who paint for real, or the people who paint on an iPad like me? Uh, or, hey, it is what it is, times are changing. Um, As you are telling me your opinion, let me see. I'm doing something quick. I'm waiting for your opinions, eh? There you go. So you have no opinions? Okay. <laughs> hey. I personally believe that, um, now listen, I personally believe that, I mean, it is art. I mean, personally, I see the difference. I can spot directly when art has been generated by AI. Not all the time, but I can see it most of the time. Um, it's called evolution. Be against it or with it, but you can't stop it. Mm. Remember when the first photographic machines appeared and many hand painters were against it very very true very very true very very true there was this ai rapper throwing n words and rapping about violence yeah i heard about it <laughs> yeah enabling hmi will change everything as a future lover it's beautiful for me to see no artist to design or make music with the help of an ai or by imagination only. Listen, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let you create AI art. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? We're gonna start with Tome. Tome, 
we're going to use an AI, AI generator called DALI. And you're going to tell me a phrase. Listen, you can be anything. You can ask him to do a photo. You can ask him to do a painting. You can ask him to do anything. People who have a vision but lack the skills to paint it can use the AI. It's a tool, exactly. You use it and listen, you can do other stuff after that. Look, look, listen, listen. This is Dali. This is Dali. And I'm gonna let you create your own art with AI. I don't have a lot of credit. I'm, I'm, I've been accepted as uh, in the better, the better. So you guys can let me know a phrase and we'll see if Dali can create it for us. You can be anything. You can say, draw me a photo. So let, let me give you examples. For example, this is an expressive painting, oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicted as an explosion of a nebula, of a nebula. You can say this is a photo of a white fur monster standing on a purple robe. So if you say photo, it will create something that looks like a photo. So all, all these are examples. Look, a photo of a teddy bear on a skateboard in Times Square. All this, this is not a real photo that exists. It's something that have been created by the AI. So listen, who wants to try first? Tome, let's go. Let's make an art on beauty in perfection. Yeah, well, you, this, now you have to tell him, you have to prompt something. Um, but can I say anything or the phrase has to be like a comment? No, you can say anything. You can say, a photo of an African woman uh, uh, in the market uh, under the rain uh, smoking a cigar. And, and it will create a photo out of just all the photos that it's seen, etc. It will just recreate a fake woman. And, and it, it, she will look like a real person that exists, but she doesn't exist. type African greatness that's it come on you have to be a little more you have to be a little more um, you have to you have to be a little more precise than just say African greatness you have to say uh, a great African king uh, uh, with a lion uh, I don't know in space for example and you can say a photo, you can say a painting. You... For example, okay, let's try. The light after a beautiful sunrise and black woman. Okay, so in this you have to write like this. A black woman. A black woman. Is it, tell me, is it a photo? Is it a, or is it a, a painting? A black woman standing near, standing with a beautiful. Oh, wait, I'm going to write exactly what you said to see what it does. The lights after a beautiful. Why didn't I copy pass? Beautiful sunrise. Uh, and black woman a photo or painting okay a painting of the light after a beautiful sunrise and a black woman all right let's see generate Yo. So it gives you four. That's one. That's number two. 
that's number three and that's number four and if you like any of them you can just download them or you can ask to do variations so let's say for example i like this one i like this one for example and i can say variations Now you see you have the original and now you have different variations. It doesn't look like a painting, it looks like more like a drawing, but all right. Boom. You can just download it and then listen, I could download this and turn this into a painting, actually. Paint on top of it. Let me download this one. I'm gonna use that one and do painting and sell it as an NFT. Damn it. All right uh let's see what more um a photo wait uh a photo of the world a photo of the world most heartbreak break a woman in europe so you meant wait a photo of the in English, I wouldn't. I would say that a photo of the world most um, heart. Okay, let's see. Heartbreaker. I don't know if he will understand because I don't. I'm not sure. That's how you say it in English. Heartbreaker woman in Europe. Okay, let's see. Let's see if he understand what you say. How many credits do I have? Okay, 128. Because you have a, you need to credit to generate every time. It's okay, I have 100 credits. Let's see if he understand what you're saying. And if it, will, if it will create a photo. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These people don't exist. You can see here. If you look the details of the face, you can see that the person doesn't exist. But that's what they did. You can see from the hand, those hands are not men for women. And those like, look, some imperfections here. All right. Listen, I don't know about your query, uh, Master Electronic, but that was blah. Let's see. Um, Bruno, a photo of an African king sitting on a golden toilet. I like this one. A photo of an African king sitting on a golden toilet. Let's see. A photo of an African king sitting on a golden toilet. Damn. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know about the face. He doesn't look like a real person, but yo, he's a golden toilet. Wow. Okay, this one is the one that looks the more the more realist. Uh, this one too. Listen, you can turn this into a painting because you can use this to start something. And then from there, you can paint over it. <laughs> those, is, those are crazy. I'm gonna change yours and I'm gonna say a uh, painting. A painting in the style of um keith harring is it keith harring let me let me keith ha yeah it's keith, keith harring yeah a painting in the style of keith harring of an african king sitting on a golden toilet generate that
Wow. <laughs> this thing is crazy. <laughs> Yo. With an iPhone. A painting in the style of Renaissance. Yo, it's crazy that an AI can you just type something and then you have because you can use it as a, as a canvas of something of an idea or any oh nothing. Hmm, interesting. In the style of uh, Dali. Salvador. Yo, I'm using this to create a painting. That one is cool. That one I can turn into a painting. I can paint over it. That, those are cool. I'm downloading those. This one too. Um, so, <laughs> of course I broke it. I'm K. You know I break those things. Machines are master machines. Who owns the copyright? You, because you you created it. It's those are. Uh, they are never the same. If I type the same thing again, right? You remember those four if i retype it it's not going to do the same thing because it's it's generating on the fly um can we use these tool to cr help create nfts of course a bunch of people are doing this already there's a lot of people look another another four this one is crazy this one is crazy let me go back and say a photo a photo realistic realistic not in the style of of, of, of a photorealistic of an african king sitting on a golden toilet with an iphone uh with an iphone on mars How many credits I have? 122, I'm good. <laughs> Where's Mar? Yo. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Ooh. Those don't look realistic for me. A portrait, a portrait of an African woman wearing golden crown in the jungle. A photo portrait generate. Listen, this thing is crazy. Yo, those women don't exist. Uh, you can see from here that it's struggling a little bit. But can you imagine what you can do with this? I'm going to turn this into an NFT. I'm going to repaint on top of this. That's a great inspiration. 
so look there's a lot of people on uh what's the name of open sea on open sea there's a lot of people who are actually uh there's a whole um explore all nft solana collectibles uh art trending collections There's wait generative art. There's a lot of people that are actually using uh no, not those ones. I want to see collection generative AI. Let me see. Generative AI art. Okay. All these are generated. All these people don't exist. Can you imagine? Uh, well, that's not. Uh, wait, let me see. Generative AI art NFTs. Look at this. Wow. What do they type to have that? Wow. And a lot of people are buying them. This is, yo, listen, this is crazy. You can actually like, imagine, a, I don't know. Let's say I want to paint or I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to have an idea and I want to do a house or something. You can do like a interior of a photo of interior of a luxury mansion modern you can start with this something like this and then you can and then you can you can you can work on it and and create something out of it that's crazy or you can just use it as is look at this look at this it's just something i, I wrote and it can generate anything and you listen you don't even have an idea of the worst part all right listen um let me take uh yeah you should this is crazy you can't trust video either yep yep today deep faking they can do anything that's crazy but it's it's this it's a journey into the future because those things are going to get better and better and listen you can just use it but look 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 at something crazy i'm going to do something let me find something for example uh let me see what can i use photo studio uh k all right let me take a photo of me and upload it right photo studio Keisha family uh, let me see let me upload a photo of me like this one all right all right generate variations from my own photo oops upload with realistic faces are not allowed ah okay okay for protection so okay wait let me do let me find something else all right let me see if you can do it from this photo because it's a photo 
where you don't see my face. Now this is me and my wife. Uh, let me go to another one. Keisha, Keisha, K. Okay, let me use one of my photos that I took in Guinea-Bissau, for example. The mangoes. Uh, what can I use? I have some nice photos that I took in Bissau or in Kinshasa. Let me see. Okay, for example, now. I'm going to use that one I took in Bissau. This photo, for example, is a photo I took in Bissau. And let me see if I go from this photo, right? You see the original? Generate variations. Let's see what it does from my original photo from Guinea. Look at this. That's my original photo that I took in Bissau. We were on the road to Gabu, right? And look. It just created variations from my own photo. Look at this. It doesn't look realistic, but you can use it. I mean, you can use those to, to start something. But yo, listen. I mean, this, this, this thing can really like, this is just revolutionary. See what I mean? Like, uh, and so you have this one and you also have uh, the meat. So this, this called, this one is called Dali. And you also have Mid Journey. Mid Journey, I think, only works on Discord, if I remember well. So let me see. If you guys are not on my Discord yet, you should. Let me put the link to my Discord. Discord.gg slash Keisha. Um, let me see what's the name of this. What's the name of this thing? I don't let me. Let me go to Discord as an app. Uh, show Discord. There you go. All right. On Mid Journey, if it so the Mid Journey, I, I don't know. It has a different style. I don't know if it's more realistic or whatever. But uh, let me find it. The lobby. Oh, no, no, no. Mid Journey. Where is Mid Journey? I know it was part of my journey. Did I remove it? Oh, that's strange. I had my journey. Oh, did I? Oh, I thought I had my journey. That's strange. Oh, let me try to find it from mid journey. It's strange. I was part of that, that discord. Mid journey is more or less, uh, that's the one that was used to create, uh, that, 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 uh, that art so mid journey is like a is a discord uh, everything is on discord so everybody can use it you can use it as well um it has a different quality look at this ethereum and ethiopian per my friend wow look at this the beauty look at the quality of these artworks i think mid journey seems like it's better than discord because listen, you can you can use that as NFTs. Like the quality of these these things, and people, I think uh, 
you just go to a server wow Yeah, the quality of so a series if you check on the here. So everybody is just posting their stuff here. So mid journey is not like a wow. So you go to a server like a newcomer room, like a new buy thirty nine, and you type um, something like um, and everybody's just typing their stuff, and then it just generates in real time on mid journey. So let's say I type um, uh, Discord is, this is what you're watching is Discord. <laughs> it's, a, it's a server talk. Imagine when technology gets better and improve. I'm scared and excited at the same time. Yep. Look, so you see you can type stuff and then people can, mid journey has a, has a different style. Uh, red birds mid wow so this is real time this is people that are just typing stuff and then it's creating uh as they are so if i type uh um imagine i think that's the prompt what's the prompt i forgot the prompt yeah, uh, yeah. imagine imagine uh a, f a bird rising from the flames of hell uh, as an android for example and you type that and then you just wait oh is it there already no see this is me that's my prompt and you just wait and it's it's generating it 12 25% 43% whoa are you seeing this thing? That's actually nice art. 93%. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Fast. Done. Look at that. So it goes, it's going to give you different possibilities of art from what you you ask him yo they are all amazing wow mid journey is crazy i think i like number four and then you tell him uh that you want to see number four i think i think you click here number four and then it will generate for you it will generate for you a high quality resolution i think Wait, maybe I'll, oh no, cancel. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to see it. I think it, ah, ask for variation. No, I want high resolution of number four. Upscaling, okay. Look, this is, it's doing me now a high resolution of number four, the one I, I wanted. And then I can listen, I can use it as, as is. I can sell it if I want, or I can just repainting, or I can just keep it for me. Like, and you can see everybody's at the same time asking stuff in real time. And the more people are asking for stuff, the more it is learning. So. A bird rising from the flames of hell as an android. 95%. And we're gonna see the finished. There you go. Where's my thing? There it is. Look at this. Wow. Wow. 
I don't, you don't even change anything. You can do a whole collection of those things. And then you said upscale to the max, and then it will just create you a, a high resolution where you can just download. It takes you to the, to the, to the internet where you can download the art you just created. Look at this, how crazy it is. Wow. Upscale to max. And you can also see what anybody is doing. See? Wow. Look at all the ideas of people. And imagine everything you can create from that stuff. 9%. Oh my God. Fast. So yeah, listen. I don't know if this helped the creative process or take the pleasure out of it. Um, it depends. For me, you can have an idea of something you want to do and you might not know how to start it. But then from there, uh, I can take this and I can paint over it and make it like whatever the AI created completely disappear and just be my canvas. And then I, I produce something out of this that is beautiful. So personally, or you can just, yeah, I mean, it's another form of creation. But yeah, imagine, I think what they are developing now is the same thing for music. Uh, an AI that you gave the music, you gave like a beat to, and it will just create melodies and writing stuff and they will sing like a real singer for you. All this, wow. That's crazy. I'm saving this one. How do I get a full version of this? It's taking me. What's supposed to take me to? To the web. Why you don't take me to the web? Yes, I want to go there. Oh, I can't have it. Okay. Anyway. Which are writing research in cyberspace. Now listen, Mid Journey is crazy. It creates amazing art with a look at this. Wow. So I mean, some people believe that in a way this is cheating because are you creating or the, are you just telling somebody to create? Yeah, I mean, I understand. I understand uh, and the thing is like people have possibilities now to create amazing art or at least have the beginning of an amazing art and then after that, it's up to you to, it's actually up to you to then turn it into whatever you want you can some people do a collection of art because they they found the idea i guess and some people have amazing collections that you can see that they look ai but they still look great because of them finding and then you have a lot of prompts that you can do some machine language to go have them do something specific specific and then you have all of us who are just typing stuff and see what happens. But you have to have this idea, a bird coming out of thing uh, as an Android with flames, like, and then from there, you can go, you can create universes, you can, you can do 3D, you can do a lot of things. That shit is amazing. You can draw your own covers without having to use stock photos or Photoshop. Exactly, Bruno, that type of things that you can do. I believe that yo, this is this is amazing. This is a this is a revolution that we're seeing. And it, listen, we are at the beginning of it. At a point, these things are gonna be able to do videos, 3D, this and that. Uh, maybe you will just listen. Imagine if in the future you can just be there talking, right? It's a club shot. You just talk, and maybe it will recreate your face for you and you can just talk from your bed and it will just have a fake you talking because you've seen 
hundreds of episodes of you we will know exactly how you look like like who knows like but yeah that's what machine learning and ai does it just takes you to that next level and as an artist i find it very exciting personally because sometimes you have an idea of something you want to do but you're not sure where to start and then you can turn it into uh, into something i think i have ideas i will show you examples of work that i did from uh prompting um the ai to do something and then i paint something completely over it so you don't see the original anymore but then it's, it, as ideas is great to as is a great starting canvas for me uh but that that android stuff that i just did i'm definitely using it so yeah listen this is crazy <laughs>